Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, let's continue to talk about solving differential equations. We have a separable equation here. So we are going to first separate the two variables x and y, and then we can actually solve the equation. Uh, but before doing that, as you can see here, there is a y here in the numerator. If we let y be zero, okay, so let's say if we let y be zero, let's see what happens when we when y is equal to zero. What happened is that dy over dx Okay, so if you take the derivative of the zero, you are still going to get zero here. So if you just plug those into the equation, you get dy over dx is equal to zero. So the left hand side of the equation is equal to zero. And then what about the right hand side? The right hand side is x times y over the square root of one plus x squared, right? So we get x and then times, well, what is the y? y is zero. So we get x times zero here. Okay, and then divided by the square root of one plus x squared, and then zero times anything is still zero. So you can see that both the left hand side and the right hand side are equal to zero. That means y equals zero is satisfy the equation. So we're done, we finished solving the equation. Well, just kidding. We actually still need to um, deal with the situation when y is not equal to zero. But you can see that y equals zero is one of the solutions, right? It's a constant solution that we have here. Okay, now let's just assume that y is non-zero so we can divide both sides by y so we can separate the um, the variable, right? So we can um, divide both sides by y here in this equation. So what we are gonna do is that we are going to multiply by one over y here, okay? And then what happened is that we are going to get one over y and then dy over dx is equal to, now the y's will get canceled here and then we are just going to get an expression involving the x. So we are going to get x and then over the square root of one plus x squared. Okay, so we are getting this. And then now we can multiply both sides by dx treating dx as the differential here. So multiply that. And then we are going to, what do we get here? We are going to, we are going to get uh, one over y and then dy. And that's equal to x over the square root of one plus x squared and then the dx. And so as you can see that we have an expression involving y only and then dy, and then we have an expression involving x only, and then there is dx. So now we can integrate both sides. So let's integrate both sides here. Okay, now what happens? We can integrate the left-hand side first. This one is the easy one. So integrating one over y, we are going to get ln of absolute value of the y. Okay, so that's the uh, the left hand side of the equation. For the right hand side of the equation, it's really just a simple use of integration. So we are going to just do it quickly. So we are going to just let u be one plus x squared. Okay, so du is equal to two x dx. And as you can see here, there was the x, there was a dx here. And then there was the x, there was a dx here. And then, so now what happens? Um, we can isolate the x dx and then get the two on the other side. So we are gonna get one over two du equals x dx. Let me just highlight the x dx again. Okay, so we place x dx by one half du and then we can have integral of one over two du. Okay, and then continue the square root and then square root of what? Square root of just the u. And so we have a simple integral here. And then to integrate this one, we actually should do, um, <clears throat> we gotta rewrite this integral. So on the left-hand side, we still just leave it as the, I wanna absolute value of the y. And then on the right-hand side, we are going to get one over two, pull out the one over two, and then we get the integral of u to the negative one over two du. And as you can see here, it's in the denominator. So we get a negative exponent square root gives us the one half exponent here. So now integrating this u to the negative one half, we are going to get ln of y is equal to one over two and then u at one to this power. So we are gonna get positive one over two and then multiply by the reciprocal of this new power here, we multiply by two. And as you can see, the two and the one half will get canceled, right? So we can, we can cancel them. Okay, so now what happens? So now we just really just get u to the one half and then u to the one half is actually what u plus, I mean u equals one plus x squared. So we place the u by one plus x squared. We have, we have the ln of, 
absolute value of the y is equal to and then something to the one half what is that something that something is one plus x squared and then plus some constant uh let's just use k for now okay so now what happened is that we can exponentiate both sides so we can isolate the y here so sometimes it's not possible to isolate the y then we'll just leave it but for now we can try to isolate the y and so exponentiating both sides what that means is that we can um, do something like this then you can see that this would give us just the absolute value of the y right so we get absolute value of the y here and then on the right hand side of the equation we get e to the well i'm going to rewrite this into a uh, square root so we are going to get the square root of one plus x square and then there was also the plus k right so there was also the plus k right here now there is one thing that i want to uh mention here regarding simplifying this expression is that this plus k here i mean e to the square root plus the k how do we simplify this we can we can actually just recall we can actually just just let's just recall that e to the a plus b is equal to e to the a and then e to the b okay so that's the sum but we have a product here right so we can actually break this apart okay so now let's do that so absolute value of the y is equal to e to the square root of one plus x squared and then e to the k okay is that good and then now what happened is that we can also try to remove the absolute value by removing the absolute value. We actually will say that um, because we allow y to be uh, a negative number here so that we are going to get a plus or minus e to the k. So I'm, I'm bringing e to the k to the front because that's a constant. And then we have e to the square root of 1 plus x squared, right? So we have e to the square root of 1 plus x squared. And then so as you can see here, y cannot be equal to zero in this case, right? So um, as you can see that if we just go back to the beginning, if we just simply divide by y, we are actually ruling out the constant solution that we are supposed to be getting, right? So make sure that you just pay attention to uh, the constant solution that can be, uh, that can disappear when you do a division involving the y here, okay? So, um, yeah, so the non-zero solution, the non-constant solution that we are getting here, it's this one, right? If you want, you can simply just rewrite this plus or minus e to the k and just write a c for this one, right? So you can see that um, we have c times e to the square root of 1 plus x squared. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Okay, so this is the whole process. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.